intensity of light. Oh, g'day, Richard Busgrave Evans again. Now I've already started blocking in, but the thing is it's really early in the morning, it's a really big painting, so what we have to do here is get it all in before the sun comes up, because as soon as that sun hits, bang, it's all over. So let's get going. Yeah, now I'm getting the shadows in and uh, just going with it. Like I said, once that sun comes up, pretty much game over, so it's going to be really quick and careful here. Can't afford to make too many mistakes. That's that row of trees there. See those rows of trees? Right, right. What have we got here? Okay. Just intensifying the yellow in the sky because it's a little bit washed out because I started in the middle of the night, I couldn't actually see what the castle was doing. And now I'm adding a little richer colour.
just anticipating some of these shadows. There's some of the shadows are in there already, right? But also, let's have a look what we've got there here. Yeah. Definitely fun and games doing this, I tell you what. Gonna paint some distant trees on the horizon there. What have we got here? Adding a little bit more warmth in the sky. Because I anticipated what was going to be there before and now I can see that there's a bit more richness. Like I said before, you can't really see when it's so dark. Now I'm starting to see a bit more light, I could actually do something. Saltbush colour. Saltbush. Putting some tufts of grass. These are all keyed down because they're in the shadow, soon there'll be direct light. At the moment it's all shadow. And while it's shadow, you have the keyed down version. Looking for the uh, other pallet knife and uh, she's gone walkabout. What happens in the dark like this? Now the pellet knife's gone walk about. Not to worry. Find it later. Careful there. You don't want the uh, horizon line to get too fuzzed off, you want it to be pretty crisp. And clean. You don't want any of that shadow from the hill getting into it. That's a bit cleaner, let's have a look at that. Okay. I was doing then, I don't know if that's all in focus, is that camera in focus? I don't know. Uh, just putting some of the uh, foreground rocks, just little rocks. I'm leaving a lot of them all in and on purpose because a lot of that ground is kind of light and washed out. The sun's going to be here any second. 
Вот. Good one. Another pellet knife I found in the kitty. I'll look for the other one that's gotten lost later. Just waiting for that sun. Come on now, we want some action. I'm seeing some pale green, all right, I'll put that in. This keeps on constantly changing. Putting some of the pale green, you're getting pale green coming into it just before the light hits. Seems like the sun's taking forever to come up. Come on, how long does it take? I'll tell you what, I better do is clear a spot on here for all the sunlit colours. Need a nice uh, clear area on the pallet where you can mix up those really bright high key colours without any of the darker tones getting mixed up with it. So here we go. Getting there, getting there. Yeah, yep, yep. Well, the sun's just popping over the horizon. It's not hardly light out the hill. See, today one of the problems is there's so much haze in the atmosphere, even though it's a clear sky. So much haze when the sun first comes up over the horizon, it doesn't have its full intensity of strength until it gets a bit higher. Whereas other mornings, it's so strong right from game on. As soon as it pops up over the horizon, bang, the hills are lit up. Whereas today, it's a bit wishy-washy. I can see the sun already hitting the board there. I don't know if you can see that, and yet it's hardly even hitting those hills. Just looking for a hint of colour. I need a hint to tell me what to do. I'm sure it's going to have magenta in it, because it quite often does when it's that low on the horizon. So I'll mix up a bit of that. Come on, get up there, get some sunlight. <laughs> sunlight, where are you? Where are you, sunlight? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm getting a hint as to what's going on. I'm starting to see some, good. Do 
the very deep tone I've got a mix. Just licking the tops of those hills in a deep tone. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Okay. Mix up some pale green in there again. Fun and games, fun and games. Soft tones. Yeah. The best part about this is there's no time for mistakes. No time for mistakes. What you gotta do is get it perfect from the start. That's not asking too much, is it? Now hint of what's going on with this light. There you go, craziness. Pull the tape off.
Oh, I'll get the right colour and tone. Okay, so that'll do. Painting a picture that big at that time of day, especially when the sun hits your board like that as soon as the sun comes up, is not easy. Quite often <clears throat> I'll have this board in shadow, or the canvas in shadow, so when the sun does come up, at least this is still, uh, hasn't got the direct light on it, which makes it hard to judge the colours. But in saying that, it was still fun doing it this way. That'd be good. Okay. Well, here's the morning painting. There's my shadow. Now, obviously, it's a big picture. We're looking down this way in the first light. And uh, as soon as the light comes over the hill, that is it. And you can see intense colours, intense application. To paint a picture this big, you've really got to work fast. You haven't got time to think about it. There's those beautiful ranges in the morning light, look at that. Alright, no worries. One thing I'd like to say is, uh, got the intense light hitting those middle ground trees today, you get to see what colour they are. Particularly in this area here. 